Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to once more yet another exciting edition of Dr. IMG Abroad. I am your host for today. If it's your first time on this channel, please hit subscribe, share and like this video as this is going to help the channel grow. Thank you so much for hitting subscribe. I will be going through lots of stuff today, but before I dive nitty gritty, the first things I like to say is that we need to polish our resume. Number one, polish your resume. Having a resume is really great. As you can see here, I'll leave a link in the description box where you can get a Canadian style resume. Having a resume, it's really, really important, which is great because that's the first contact that you will have with the person recruiting you. They've never met you if you're applying from somewhere, say in Nigeria or in India. They've never met you before. They, the first impression they have is what you actually present to them as your resume. So please have a polished resume. We need to do a resume Canadian style and there's tons and tons of resources out there. The next thing I want to say is that in Canada, having someone recommend you is really, really important. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you have someone who gives you a recommendation letter, who has a fiscal address in Canada, who is verifiable, you are highly, highly five to 10 times likely to have that position compared to someone who is applying from India and maybe someone in Europe is sending a recommendation from, for them or someone in India is sending a recommendation. And the IMG team here, we are happy to provide recommendation letters for people that we work with and that we think that they are worth it and that they know what they're saying in terms of their job applications. So even if you're applying from abroad, as you would see um, on the job searches that we'll do um, shortly, if you're applying from abroad and we have worked with you for a while, we know that you're trustworthy. The team is happy to offer you know a formal recommendation letter for you, which will definitely maybe permit you to get a working permit or if you're already within Canada, maybe transition from a visitor visa to a worker visa because it's very possible, as I'll show you now. Letters of recommendation or reference letters from people who are based in Canadian institutions and they have um, you know, a renowned title. Again, I say the team here is ready to support you. We can provide that just based on how it'll work with you and if we know you. The next thing is that you need to get your educational credentials. If you're working and you say you have a doctorate degree, then we need it to be in English or in French. So we need that equivalent in Canadian benchmark. It's really important. There are several resources out there that talk about how to do this. On some of my videos that you see right here, I've talked a little bit about um, these different bodies that give you educational credentials and I've talked a little bit about it. Depending on if you're a physician, if a scientist, if a master degree in, in science, if you're a nurse, if you have a professional certificate, anyone in the healthcare industry, you need some kind of Canadian benchmark to at least show your employer that, yeah, you meet the standards. So you want to be able to show them that you're actually qualified. You have that bachelor's degree, master degree, or you have the doctorate degree um, that you're claiming that you actually have and it's legit. So it's usually great just to have these educational credentials. And there are several organizations out there. There is West, there's Physicians Applied or CA for Physicians, there's several organizations. If you're a dentist, pharmacist, if you just have a bachelor's degree in science, there are several organizations out there, there are some private ones that have that can fast track credential evaluations rapidly. Just check it out. I have put a couple of links in the description box that could help you in order just to reach out to these people. And the next thing that I really want to insist on is going to job portals. Job portals are really important because it's on job portals that you would find the jobs that you're actually looking for. And I'll see a lot of people don't really know how to use LinkedIn. LinkedIn is not a social media like every other one. LinkedIn is really a place where you go and you network with professionals that will help you towards your professional goal. So if I am in Nigeria and I want to immigrate to Canada and I am a nurse practitioner, I would go on LinkedIn and start looking for nurse practitioners in the desired province that I have. I would send them friend requests 
and once they accept for the most part people would just accept you can send them a chat you can fix an appointment for a quick call and you can start introducing yourself if they're interested in you they will ask for you to send your CV or something and then you build that particular connection and when it's time for you to apply for your job you can say hey mr. XYZ or miss XYZ please I am applying for this position It's really cool I like it I want to do it for my immigration purpose can you please send a reference letter on my behalf and that would really be a great way and so using LinkedIn is really important there's lots of negative energy out there a lot of people say it's hard it's difficult of course this there's, there's nowhere on earth that is easy right even if you say you're going you're living your home country it's because you want a better life even if you come here and times are tough people are succeeding there's no need to be around people who give you negative energy if you are beside someone and he's telling you that oh it's so hard i can't make it people can make it try to reach out to those people who have succeeded and ask them like oh what was your sweet spot what was your secret ingredient and never get discouraged even for physicians we're trying to get into the system and it's that tough the licensing process is feeling cumbersome or overwhelming. Never feel discouraged. If you apply for 20, 60, 100 jobs, you've not had any, don't get discouraged. You're not sure that that number 101 job is not going to be the one that's going to land you that position. Keep doing it. Keep ameliorating. When you do it, the problem is not just to do it because the same causes will always produce the same effect remember that if you do the same thing same way do not expect different results you always got to expect the same results so build that community and make sure that you're getting you know those changes integrated into either your resume your cover letter the people you're talking to there are good people and they're sending you good reference letters make sure you're integrating these changes and all these different things make sure you're reading and educating yourself and informing yourself on different things so but yeah that was just the first initial part to encourage you i will jump straight to show you exactly how you can use canada job bank which i have put the link in the description to actually land you a job whether you're applying from within canada or out of canada whether you're within canada you have a visitor visa and then you want to switch it to a worker visa i will show you exactly how you could tally and then you could get where it is you know open for internationals through job bank and once you do this it's usually i'll advise not good to apply using the site itself but to go to the official site of that company so let's go to job bank